guys, welcome back to our channel. It's Sophie. I'm super excited for today's video. I'm using a brand new palette by Too Faced called the Pretty Rich Palette. And also, really quickly, I'd like to mention the giveaway winner for the month of November. Her name is Jasmine Brooks. So shout out to you, girl. Thank you so much for supporting our channel and taking the time to comment on all of our videos. So thank you so much for supporting our channel. So moving on to the tutorial. Uh, I just really quickly primed my lids using the Tarte Shape Tape in the color light and this is the palette here. Absolutely stunning and it obviously did not disappoint this palette. was super pigmented and all of these metallic shades, well I only use like two of them but they were absolutely stunning when I applied them. So first I went into the light brown transition shade called Cashmere and I'm just buffing that into my crease. And this color was amazing. Super, super pigmented. Not too cool toned, not too warm toned. I loved it. And I also kept my brow bone bare for this video, which is so unlike me. You guys know me. I love my Makeup Forever Starlet Powder number 13. So it was definitely different to not apply a brow bone highlight. But I actually thought that it looked good for this tutorial. I picked up the dark brown eyeshadow and an angled brush and... Similar to one of my last videos, I cut the crease and I just, I made it slightly winged out but I didn't define it all the way on the outer corner so I focused it on the center of my crease and then with a fluffier brush I picked up the transition shade once again, the first one that we used named Cashmere and with this fluffy brush I'm just going in left and right motions diffusing that line and making sure that everything is nice and blended and also guys, we're going to be doing vlogmas, but not really vlogging. <laughs> so we're going to try to upload to this channel every single day for the whole month of December. So let's see if we succeed with that or not. We shall see. But I'm going back in with that angled brush and the dark brown shade. And I'm just defining the center of the crease once again. And then with this smaller tapered brush, I went in with a little bit of that dark brown eyeshadow. And I went in very lightly. And I'm just going in left and right motions just to further blend that crease out and make everything nice and diffused. And then with an angled brush, um, this one's by ABH. This is the brush that I use to carve out my brows. I've been loving it for carving out the lid. And I just carved out the lid really quickly with my Tarte Shape Tape in the color light. And then I picked up that uh, blue metallic shade in the palette. And I'm just starting to pat this onto the outer corner. And this shade is absolutely stunning. It's blue, but at certain angles, it looks like a light purple. It's just absolutely stunning. And then I went into this shade here called Fluent in Diamonds. And I first applied it with my finger. And it's so gold, so pigmented. It almost has a sparkle to it. Absolutely stunning. So I first applied it with my finger, which I felt like applied it the best. And then I picked up this brush just to get into those harder to reach places that my finger couldn't reach just to like evenly spread it out and also to blend it into that other purple shade and then I'm just going into the dark brown shade and just adding some dimension on the outer corner and then going in with a defined angled brush I'm just starting to smudge that onto the lash line I wanted to kind of add like a smoky liner I've just been really obsessed with smoky liner lately. I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but I've been doing it so often. And then going back into that small tapered brush and some more of that dark brown eyeshadow and just smudging that out and just making sure that everything's nice and blended. For lashes, I'm using my Shop Sophie Bella Bali Lashes. And I have to say I'm obsessed with every single pair of lashes that we have, but I go through phases where I favor one over the others and right now I'm definitely going through a Bali phase. I'm super obsessed with our Bali lashes. If you guys want to check out our lashes, the link will always be in the description box down below. For my waterline, I put in my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in the shade Double Life, which is just a shimmery brown shade. And then for the lower lash line, I just did the same shades that I applied in my crease. So the light uh, orangey, or it's not really orangey, it's more of a neutral shade. The light cashmere shade and then the dark brown shade. And then I mix the two together just to make sure that they're, everything's nice and diffused. And then 
I went ahead and applied the same shade that we applied on the inner half of the lid to my inner corner, which was just absolutely stunning. And then I went in with my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara on my lower lashes. And then for my brows, you guys already know that I like to run my spoolie through some bar soap and definitely spray some Fix Plus or some sort of spray onto the spoolie before you run it through the bar soap and then run it through your brows. And it just gives the appearance of a wispier brow, which I love. And this is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching today's tutorial. Thank you so much for watching to the end if you are still watching. If you guys want to be entered for this month's giveaway, the giveaway for December, then just go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Make sure that you're subscribed. Make sure you turn your post notifications on, so hit that bell button. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!